Over the weekend, there was a bit of a controversy involving a PR executive by the name of Justine Sacco. If you haven't heard of her before, don't worry. She only had about 200 followers on Twitter, but she did work for a pretty big uh, company known as Interactive Corp. Uh, they actually do the PR for Match.com, Dictionary.com, OkCupid, Vimeo, so you get the picture. Well, she was about to board a plane to South Africa last Friday, and before doing so, she put out a tweet that got her into a lot of trouble. The tweet said, going to Africa, hope I don't get AIDS, just kidding, I'm white. Oh, damn. That's kind of unfortunate. So this thing took off like a rocket yes. while she was in the air like a rocket. Mm -hmm. And so Anna's going to explain the tweets that related to that. I think part of the reason that it took off was because it was such an outrageous thing to say she's actually from South Africa. In some ways it makes it worse. You know, yeah, so she, she was born there, and uh, her family decided to move uh, to you know move out of South Africa because her father said that she didn't want her daughter to experience the racism there. Not that she would be a victim of the racism, but he didn't want his daughter to see how black people were treated in South Africa and, and use that as an example. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out as he had planned. We'll yeah. get back to him in a second. Yeah. But while so she goes on the plane right after tweeting this out, mm -hmm. while she's in the air. Twitter mayhem ensues. She's not even aware of it because she's incommunicado. She lands, people start taking our picture. Those are the pictures we just, one yes. of them is the picture we showed you first. And she's famous by the time she lands. Yeah, again, she only had 200 Twitter followers and now all of a sudden everyone's talking about her. And one of the trending hashtags during the weekend was, um, has Justine landed yet? So people who couldn't wait for her to land and realize that she was in a lot of trouble. So BuzzFeed was actually uh, the, the, the media organization that retweeted her, and that's how it kind of spiraled out of control. Um, but after she did land, she was greeted by someone by the name of Zach. And Zach took pictures of her, as you guys could see. And uh, he also tweeted about it. He tweeted, yup, Justine Sacco has in fact landed at Cape Town International. She de she's decided to wear sunnies as a disguise. I love that, sunnies as a disguise. I'm going to use that from now on. So there she is. <laughs> She also immediately deleted the tweet and uh, I think de deleted her entire Twitter account, which, I mean, uh, or deactivated it, I should say. Well, you know you've made a Twitter mistake when you have to destroy your entire Twitter account. Yeah. It, it just wasn't a smart idea, obviously. And as a PR exec, you would assume that she would know better than that. And of course, she has since been let go from her position. Understandably so. If you are in public relations, you need to know right from wrong. I mean, your whole job, your life revolves around making people look good. And if you can't even do that for yourself, there's a bit of an issue there. Yeah, and uh, look, the reason it took off is one, it was a fascinating s story while she was in the air. BuzzFeed, of course, poured a lot of fuel onto that fire. Also, I think a lot of people that are in those circles uh, think like, oh, that's one of us. Like, yeah, a guy, random guy in Tennessee does it, ah, like, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But they're like, oh, the PR specialist that works for these big companies, that's like us. And they start sending it around, sending it around, and then it became a thing. And so once it became a thing, she was a goner. Yeah. She had no chance. By the end, her dad even turned on her. Yes. So Zach uh, spoke to her father, and I'm kind of amazed that the father didn't immediately come to her defense. In fact, he immediately criticized her. So according to Zach, Justine's dad isn't outwardly racist. He stopped to have a chat with me she better know she'll be paying for this okay so he I don't know how he plans on making her face consequences but that's interesting he also said um, just had a chat uh, to Justin Sacco's father he's South African he didn't want to raise her in South Africa because of racism Justine's dad is apologetic and basically in tears I decided to raise her in the US South Africa was too racist oh the irony hashtag has Justine landed yet now Zach's on this man yeah. he's on the He's on the beat of this Twitter, you know, situation. One last tweet. Um, I'm so incredibly ashamed of her. This is what the father said. She's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Justine's Damn, dad said to man, me. man, Jesus, he burned her house down. Wow, she didn't even get a chance to say. Oh my God, I am totally, 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 totally sorry for that. Which on now, of course, she says, eh, a little too late. Yeah, so I want to read you her apology. Look, it's a pretty serious apology. There's no, oh, if I offended anyone, let me give it to you. She says, uh, words cannot express how sorry I am and how necessary it is for me to apologize to the people of South Africa who I have offended due to my needless and careless tweet. 
for being insensitive to the AIDS crisis, which does not discriminate by race, gender, or sexual orientation, but which terrifies us all uniformly, and to the millions of people living with the virus, I am ashamed. This is my father's country, and I was born here. I cherish my ties to South Africa and my frequent visits, but I am in anguish knowing that my remarks have caused so much pain to so many people here, my family, friends, and fellow South Africans. I'm very sorry for the pain I caused. And I'm also very sorry that I've lost my job and I've become a, basically a target for international ridicule, which I thoroughly deserved. What was she thinking? What was she thinking? I mean, I mean, I'm sure she was joking, right? Like maybe she, but that's not. Here's the thing. Anytime you want to post anything online, if there's even a tiny moment of hesitation, just don't post it. Don't yeah. post it. And, and look, it depends on what your job is. If you're a comedian, post away, man. You like, you got wide berth to make any jokes you like, right? Right. And if, you, like, let's say you're a comedian that works on Dave Chappelle show, can you make some racial jokes? My guess is yes. Funny right? racial jokes are made all the time, and espe again, especially if you're a comedian, it's okay. But in this case, a she's not a comedian, right? And even if she was trying to make a joke, it's not funny. Like, what's funny about AIDS? Like, and like, and ha ha, only black people get it. That's, oh, that's not like a, that's so cringeworthy. Don't do that, man. And then, on top of all that, if you're a PR executive, you especially can't do that. I mean, you, she's working for OK Cupid. She might as well have been working for OK Stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> Now you see I've proven my point that if you're not a comedian, don't try jokes at home. <laughs> okay? That was a great example of that. <laughs> Thank Good job, you. Jake.